Hi, I'm Erica Gregory and I'm with Johns Creek and Alfreda Counseling. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the five secrets to understanding depression and why it's so hard, especially now. Before we get started, please take a moment to join our community by hitting that subscribe button and the notification bell. Then you'll be able to see all the great videos we've posted on mental health and anxiety, and you'll be able to see the future videos come up as we post them. Subscribing goes a long way to help support us in making these videos, so thank you. Depression is a medical condition of the brain. So these symptoms are impact every part of the body because the brain controls all of the body. So to start with, one is isolation. And isolation doesn't mean you're always alone. It means you feel alone. So someone who's isolating, this may be someone who goes in their room a lot, does physically separate themselves from others, does not enjoy the company of others like you did before. Um, but this also can be, I'm in the middle of a crowded room and I feel so alone, um, so unseen. So this can be a very physical, it can be a perceptional feeling of feeling alone. Um, another layer of this is feeling like a burden. Um, my presence, my existence is a burden on others. Uh, people have to take care of me or I'm always a mess up. And notice some of these negative thoughts that can come from that of isolation, feeling far apart from others, feeling like a burden to others. It can really fuel a lot of negative dialogue that keeps someone down and can feel really, really heavy. Someone who's struggling with depression also may feel hopeless. Like they're, it's hard to see a positive future. It's hard to see a future at all. Like this weight, this nothing can get better. Depression can lie to you. It's not true, but that's what someone with depression believes is nothing can get better. This can't move forward. I can't move past this. That's the weight someone with depression carries. And again, this is medical. So this isn't someone who's lazy, who's making this up in their mind, who something is flawed with them somehow. This is their brain literally not producing what it should to feel hope, to feel positivity, to feel productive, to have motivation. That's another symptom. You lose motivation to do anything. Things you used to really, really enjoy to motivation, productivity, to feel productive, to feel that good feeling after a long days of work, if I got something done, uh, that goes away. And that goes away because our brain isn't producing dopamine like it used to. Dopamine is produced anytime our body really kind of feels good. So this is something that's produced after a long run, after a really relaxing walk on the beach. Uh, dopamine is, gives us that ah feeling. When our body stops producing that, we lose the good feeling with living. And so everything becomes hard. Everything becomes heavy. And then that's what leads to the what's the point. That can lead to the weight, the hopelessness feelings. It's like even your body starts to hurt a little more. Um, even moving can be painful. And that's why people stay in bed and just kind of want to hide from the world. This is what real medical depression is. With COVID-19 right now, what I'm seeing a lot of in my pre counseling practice and amongst other counselors I know is someone who may have had a touch of depression or a touch of anxiety. They could, they could manage, they could do basic coping skills, get through the day, I'm okay. With COVID-19 happening, I'm not okay anymore. I can't get through the day anymore. It's now too hard. It's, I've got the extra pressure of what's going on today and I had the medical pieces as well in the combination, I can't muscle through it anymore. I need that extra help and that's okay if that's you. We can help you work through finding ways to manage the medical and help you with coping with the situational. It can help you get to the next step and help you work through this tough phase. Description below, you'll find links and different resources that can help you in making a decision about what's best for you and moving forward. If you would like to see different topics on mental health, on parenting, on marriage, please leave me a comment below of something you would like me to expand on a little more. To see more of these videos, please click the subscribe button. Also, please share this with others because you never know who may be struggling in silence. You never know who this could help next. Thanks. Look forward to seeing you in the next video.